Okay, so welcome to Revit for AutoCAD users. You know, the great thing about opening Revit for the very first time is that we actually have AutoCAD as a pretty good point of reference. Fortunately, Autodesk did a wonderful job in carrying over some of the main user interface elements from AutoCAD over to Revit. In this module, we'll get familiar with Revit's user interface by identifying similarities with AutoCAD, and we'll also explore those features that are unique to Revit. So let's take a look. So you know, anytime I'm trying to uh, get to know anyone new, I think a great way to do that is to find out what you have in common. So let's take that same approach when working with AutoCAD and Revit here. So let's talk about some of the similarities. And we're going to focus on functionality here. Now we know with AutoCAD from our experience that it's one of the best 2D documentation tools out there. Been using it for years and years in our industry. We also have the ability to create 3D models. And not only that, we can also create pretty nice renderings of those 3D models that we've created in AutoCAD. But I bet you didn't know that we have the ability to do 2D documentation in Revit as well. And obviously with BIM, we have the ability to create 3D models and the ability to create really nice rendered images of those 3D models and projects. So now that we know the three main things that we have in common between the two tools, AutoCAD would like you to meet Revit. Revit, I'd like you to meet AutoCAD. All right, so now that we have a pretty good foundation on things that we have that are in common, let's go ahead and talk about some of the small differences in the functionality. So with AutoCAD, when it comes to the 2D plans, everything we're doing is a drawing based and all of our drawings are individual and unique. So there really is no connection between all the drawings I have, which can cause problems when changes occur in a design. That means if an element changes in my design and it appears in multiple drawings, I have to go back in and manually make adjustments to any drawing where that element appears. When it comes to 3D modeling, we have the ability to create 3D shapes, essentially, using uh, wireframe, solid surface, surface, and also mesh modeling tools. Not only that, when you're working in AutoCAD, we're spitting out our, our files in the form of DWG file types. And again, this is mainly working in a drawing environment. Now, when it comes to Revit, all of our 2D plans and the views are derived from one 3D model. That brings about the concept of change management that you may have heard. Now, unlike in AutoCAD, where if a change happens, I have to go back and change each individual drawing where that change may be visible or occur. In Revit, if I'm working on my 3D model or I'm working in any view and I make a change, that change will automatically be reflected throughout the rest of my views. So for example, if I'm working in 3D and the placement of a window, the size, and also a wall near that window has changed or moved, whatever change I make in 3D will be reflected in my floor plans, my sections, and all my elevations. Change management. It's one of the most powerful things when it comes to working with Revit. Now, when it comes to 3D modeling, we're working with information in addition to shapes. So we're basically creating building information models, or you'll have heard the term BIM several times. Again, that's 3D geometry. That's information rich. And what it does is it allows us essentially to try and design and analyze our building in an environment that's as close to the real world situation as possible. Now, for this course, I want to focus more mainly on the 2D plans here and creating some basic 2D deliverables. I think that's going to be one of the best ways for us to get comfortable with Revit is knowing that I, I can do in Revit what I can do in AutoCAD. Now, when it comes to Revit, the file types we're actually working with are RVT file formats, and these are actually projects. So that's the main difference. In AutoCAD, your DJWG files, we're working with drawings in a drawing environment. In Revit, RVT file types, we're actually working in a project. So our project is going to include drawings, but it's also going to have 3D models, 3D floor plans, sheets, uh, views, all these things associated with an entire project. So drawing-based versus project-based. All right, so now that we know what we have in common between the two, and we hopefully can respect the differences between the two, I think this has been a pretty good introduction. So in the next clip, I want to talk about exploring the user interface.